right guys well I just got done finishing up the steaks look at that it's so amazing all right guys well we finally made it to camp we I think we're about three miles straight up into the mountains and I'm talking it was tough we found a site I would have swore this was an Airbnb because it already had a fire pit someone had camped in this spot before we got water down here in a marsh we're gonna suck it up we set up camp and we're gonna get to scouting and hopefully Tim will get himself an elk and you guys will be able to watch that show on inside outdoors TV but as for team Tate outdoors the struggle is real we're here to assist okay time to get some water I'm thirsty well guys we have camp set up now we worked effortlessly to getting this camp set up. Wait, wouldn't that mean without effort? <laughs> That's got to be a joke <laughs> though, right? <laughs> We're so tired. <laughs> we actually set up our hammocks. It's yeah. been so hot that we set up the hammocks so that we could sleep for the afternoon. This is actually shaded here in this section and the sun is blistering on the tent. So what we're gonna do is just camp out on the on these for now. We're gonna pack these up in our bags when we're elk hunting. We can take naps as we're gone away from camp. We'll be back every night. We found some water, but it has a little brown tinge to it. So we're boiling it. We made a little grill here, and that way we can um, put our canteen cup on there. You can see it's getting hot. Tim bought some meals for us. These are these are uh, freeze dried. You just add hot water to them, close them up, and then you can eat them. They're pretty good. I would eat that anytime because it's delicious. All right, guys, this is our journey. You're watching it right here. We'll keep you updated. We're trying to see if any of these elk are going to come out and feed. We can get a view on them so we can hunt them in the morning. But we're not hearing anything. We're not seeing anything. This is a very, very difficult hunt. It's trying every bit of our uh, tenacity and to just stick with it. Because it is, when you're not hearing them, you're not seeing them, it's depressing. But we're sticking with it. To the end, I think this week we're going to get some rain, and that's not going to be fun. This is my first time ever in the Colorado mountains. No breakfast. Sir. Thank you guys for the food. You're giving us this beautiful, beautiful country to look at uh, while we hunt these elk. Well guys, the sun is just coming up. We're still in camp, fire's, fire's just barely burning. I know you can't see me, but um, I am here in front of the camera. We are gonna try to, uh, Go ahead and get another elk here. We're gonna go give it another shot trying to get our first elk. So this is day number one, two, I think it's four, four or five. It's our first morning we've actually got to hunt. Uh, being up in the mountain, not having to hike into the mountain. So hopefully we're gonna go see something, hear something.
We're also trying to find a, a route in for in the morning. We want to try to be up here before the sun breaks the horizon. So if we can find it on the way out, that's if we don't kill one on the way out. stories. Well, it is morning number two up on the mountain, camped out, I think. And uh, last night we located a couple bulls. So after we slept on the, on the top of the mountain, we worked our way around the mountain and found a lot of elk sign. It's gonna be a hump to get back there, but we're taking, today we're taking kind of a rest day. We're gonna get ourselves really, um, condition for this we're gonna eat we're gonna go back down to the truck it's like three and a half miles down to the truck and back we're gonna go get some stuff and then we're gonna come back prep and then tomorrow morning around 3 34 o'clock in the morning we're leaving here we're going up the mountain and when the sun comes over the mountain when it when it breaks light the elk will be below us and uh hopefully they'll be working their way right to us and then tim's gonna kill them one so Guys, we'll uh, we'll get back with you later on the trail. Just want to tell you good morning. Good morning. <laughs> did, you the, did you get the back? <laughs> yep. All the way back. Every time. Guys, we're eating this. Peak refuel. These things are really good. You can't see the symbol, but it's called Peak Refuel. And this breakfast one, I mean, it's there's supposed to be two servings. I think maybe for a woman and a kid, but for a man, you need all this. But they are tasty. All right, guys. Well, we actually had a good time in town. Didn't film any of that because it was our rest time. But now we are back out. We're at the truck. We are packed up. Tim's got his secondary pack of meals. I've got all my stuff here. Camp is still on the top of that mountain. We got clouds coming in and it looks like it may rain on us. So we are gonna beat feet, get up this mountain, get to a campsite and set up a tarp because I have a feeling we're gonna get rained on. All right, so we gotta do a few little stretches here. Mm, that inner, inner stretch. Right here, ah, oh, a groin stretch. Ah, oh, they're tight. Ah. Oh. Mm. Okay, we're ready. You ready, bud? I'm ready. All right, guys, here we go. Up the mountain. All right, so this is the point where the woods start. You can have no motor vehicles here. It's all by horse or foot. Here we go. All right, guys. It has officially started ringing on us. We're headed up the mountain. We both have about one layer. All our warm layers are at the top. So we've got to make this 2.2 mile stretch as quickly as possible. How you doing, Timmy?
guys. First mile's over with. Still kind of raining. Getting wet. We're making good time. Whew. Just steady as we go. Nice and steady. Wins the race. Now we're walking up. Should be our last severe switchbacks here because it gets so steep. Can't talk. Just gotta walk. This is what it looks like as you come up to the top of the highest spot from where we need to climb. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. None of this is redone, rehearsed. This is literally as the moment unfolds. Woo! There's nothing I want to redo just for video. <laughs> Not a single. <clears throat> All right. Back to our beautiful camp. The tin is good. We rock, baby. All right, guys. Well, since you saw me post about the, uh, well, since you saw me last, when I shut it off, we just got in camp. It was raining. <laughs> Tim's flexing because our shirts were all wet. We had to take them off. We made this little rain fly so when we have our fires, uh, we can stay dry. It's not low enough to get burned. It's, it's pretty good height above us. So we won't allow our fire to burn it, but it'll keep it from getting wet and give us a place to eat and hang out while we're, uh, if it's raining, because it did start raining on the way up. So we're hoping it doesn't continue. Something we also brought up with us a bunch of venison frozen and we had a freezer that we've been run, running with the generator down at the base of the mountain and i got a bunch of frozen venison and we want to keep it cold well the creek that we get our water from is pretty cold i'm pretty sure it's below 40 degrees and so we're going to go and just dump this bag it's it's perforated so all the meat is vacuum sealed and that's perforated so we're just going to submerge it in there with a stick so all our meat stays cold and that way we're gonna have some uh we're gonna have some nice medium rare venison skewered tonight protein for tomorrow's trip up into the mountains so survival tip number one if you have fresh meat and you have a way to seal it off which we do because we planned this we brought some vacuum sealed meat with us on this trip bringing fresh meat's not normally a thing that you would want to do packing in the wilderness but we kept the truck with a fridge and a freezer freezer a freezer with a generator running it while we've been hunting and while we went down there to re reset for the next three or four days we grabbed a bunch of that frozen meat and what i've done is i've put it in this bag this is a mesh bag so water can go through it and i've tied it off is in little tiny crevices like this right you have wells of ice cold water. So I'm going to submerge our meat bag right in that water, just like that. And so now I'm gonna tie this line off. Okay, now there we go. Our meat is on refrigeration. That water's probably 38 to 40 degrees, which we don't have to keep the meat frozen. Just like putting meat in your refrigerator, it's gonna be fine right there nice and cold we're gonna come down tonight pull some of the meat out of there skewer it with a stick cook it over the fire and we're gonna have some really good high quality protein for tim's elk hunt in the morning because we have to go back up that mountain and bring if we shoot that elk we got to bring them back every single piece refrigerated meat there it is All right, guys. Well, our day hiking up the mountain is almost done. I've got um, some back straps that we brought up frozen that we were in the truck and um, cooking them on a skewer. Check this out. Over the fire. That's gonna be yummy. I just got done finishing up the steaks. Look at that. It's so amazing. Fire's nice and hot. We cooked it over the fire and they're like a perfect 
medium rare to medium. They're going to be delicious. We're going to eat this, get some strength. Guys, we've got to go to bed, but I just wanted to show you how awesome that is. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. All right, we're out here, as you can see behind me. Way back, sort of behind those trees back there, sort of over the tip of my bow is where we've been here in this particular elk. But the way the weather has changed, the temperatures dropped, they ought to be, if not today, tomorrow, definitely the next day, they ought to be lighting up. I'm gonna hit a call real quick and see if we can get something to respond. <laughs> start to question whether or not you're in a good area and then you see stuff like this at some point you got a fire pit and they built an elevated bed and they got these poles up that they put a tarp over and that paracord has actually grown into the tree so it's been here for a while Awesome to know that there's stuff like this. You get caught in the rain, come right here, throw our own tarp up, and get out of the water. Oh, well, good morning, guys. We uh, had a rainy night. It rained all night, and now we've been out early this morning trying to get on some elk that were bugling. This early this morning, <sighs> never could get on them, so we're headed north. And uh, it's been tough. I mean, the rain, we, we, we had it planned out. It started raining yesterday. We got the hooch all squared away, but without getting out here and getting soaking wet, we weren't gonna make it happen. And we're living out like this. It's tough to dry out clothes. Sometimes it's better to play it safe than sorry. So we're gonna keep moving. All right. So guys, you know, um, so Tim uses the Grail cup and it filters the water by pressure. And we have a little stream right here that we get our water from. We actually set this little pine branch in here for the for the filter pump that we have, the, the catadin. That's a, that we use to pump the water. And Tim has this Grail cup that he presses and it just like forces it through this filter and then up into here. And so it separates the, the possibly unclean water from the clean water. And that is how we filter our water to cook with, to drink, uh, everything that we do, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we have to have water. And we come down to this water point probably once a day at least once a day, yeah. And sometimes we sit here and we'll bring the two gallon jug plus all my two quart canteens. This is what we use. These are super light. They're army two quart canteens. I bought them from a dollar, from a army surplus store for a dollar a piece. And they're super lightweight. You smash them and fold them up and they go in your pack. So you bring them in empty and then you fill them at a water source wherever you end up at. So they make for a, for a good um, you know, holding container. So he's still working on that grill cup as he pushes the it's almost down to the bottom two hours later <laughs> <laughs> it's a slow process guys nothing when you're when you're out in the wilderness like this nothing is a fast pace you can't have nowhere to, to go, you know, if the animals go to bed, you need to go and relax because 
you're not really going to get them off their feet to come and to you know to hunt them um or all you're going to do is spook your game and and it's going to be gone so you have to hunt them when they're naturally moving and when they're naturally moving is first thing in the morning and first thing in the evening there's the water crystal clear and that water's delicious mm -hmm. and it's ice cold too because the stream is just ice cold all right that's just getting water in the wilderness of the san juan forest guys up here in colorado san juan wilderness san juan wilderness in colorado okay Let's get back and make some venison. Yeah. Still pouring rain out here. And um, keeping this lens from getting drops on it. It's, it's a little tough. However, some cool things are happening here at the camp. One, we're drying off all our clothes. Got a fire going. But two, showed you us making water. Well, check this out. This whole tarp is catching water. Low corner. Paracord. Paper towel. The water is flowing. Okay? And when I mean flowing, look at this. We put it in the jug. Rainwater filling up the jug. This jug five minutes ago was empty. The water is literally running down the cord. Right here, you can see it's getting wet. It's all running down, hitting the towel, coming around, and just naturally following where it connects. Super cool get some fresh rain water without having to go and filter it and this is actually our water that we boil to make our food anyways super cool thought you guys might like that to see that we don't have to go to the water point for that jug that's crazy it's filling up so fast matter of fact I'll show you something I did here's a cup there's about a cup of water in there that cup of water took 35 seconds from that 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 um, 550 cord to fill that up 35 seconds it's crazy hopefully we'll be able to get back out there and hunt once this rain stops the elks weren't bugling they bugled some this morning when there was a little bit of a rain break and we tried to get to them they stopped but uh once this rain stops we're gonna go glass tonight see if we can find out where they're coming down Come on, weather. You gotta quit. I got the camera mounted above me. We're, we're kind of in tight quarters here. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit more. Um, what I've got, meat that we put in the free in the cold, freezing cold water. And today is the day that we're going to marinate it outside bottom round. Look at that. I see how I mean. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice this and we're gonna cook these on skewers after we marinate them marinate them in coca-cola because that's about all we got for marinating now I'm cutting this against the grain so that once we do cook them they won't be tough they won't be stringy hogs that we use move on to the next step guys we're gonna put in some coca-cola pour in some coke cover the meat crown royal just a little bit to marinate this meat in so that alcohol can break down that meat, make it tender. Here's, we're gonna skew these up once they've marinated a while, we're gonna cook them over the fire. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick it through it, back weave it, and stick it through it again. I'll pull that down tight, just like that. And that is how we're gonna cook them, just like this. All right, so here's mine. You see what it looks like? It's delicious. I'm gonna pull it off there. Tear it open. Mm. That is amazing. It's still raining. 
We're stuck in the tent. So exciting. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get after tomorrow. Guys, I don't even know what day it is anymore. We had to build a, an additional piece onto our shelter here to stop the wind. You can't see a hundred yards. We did, however, build ourselves a bench to get us up off the ground. I didn't want to go out here and show you that you can't even see the mountains from here anymore. This is not our smoke. This is the fog that has rolled in. You can't see anywhere. Guys, just want to check in with you on the next day. And then cools happens, we'll uh we'll update you. Alright guys, we'll see you when we get up on the mountain when it stops raining. Alright, well good morning guys. <clears throat> Just got up. It's about 3 30 in the morning. Got up, we had a little breakfast. Oh, excuse me. Had a little breakfast cooked in here in the tent today instead of going outside. It's a bit chilly. Tim's getting dressed. Got some coffee going ate our bag meals this was strawberry granola and we actually brought up some donuts from camp from base camp at the truck so we had some donuts as well we're gonna get out getting ready to go on the hunt the rain has stopped it's still a little foggy but we're hoping that burns off this morning but by the time it burns off I have a feeling we're going to be in position and old boy's going to be screaming. So uh, this could be the climax to this hunt. So we are pumped up. We are getting energized. We're up early and uh, we'll let you guys know later what happened. All right. Just giving you an update. wants to stay at the top of the mountain. Sun's out. We're going to the top of the mountain. If you see this, and this is like a memoriam to Donovan and Nathan. Love y'all. <laughs> Fifty-four U.S. Geological Survey. Well, that's pretty cool. We have officially made it to the peak of the Chalk Mountains. It's eleven thousand nine hundred and something that it said. Uh, eleven thousand nine hundred and seventy-two feet. Wait a minute. 11,973 feet.
up in the mountains, down this waterfall. We were about out of water with our uh, bladders. And we could pretty much get two or three miles without water, but it's not enjoyable. But um, over my right shoulder, we come up off this mountain here. We came all the way down all this and got to this water and just put our bottles in it. We don't even need to filter it. It's been running out of this mountain, filtering it through sand and silt and everything else. And water's ice cold, delicious. And look at the view. We're still on the hunt and it's, we're struggling. We're struggling. Guys, we're packing out. We've been training for two weeks for this. Doesn't seem I said I thought it was going to be a bunch of elk meat. <laughs> Instead, it's just camp. <laughs>